first, can you describe We Belong in three facial expressions or words? Oh, facial expressions. That's hard. I'm also, this is so stupid because I'm an actor, but I get really self-conscious <laughs> on camera. Like if I'm holding it, I'm like, oh God. Um, I don't know. Facial expressions, that's hard. Maybe like a cheeky wink and then like a kissy face. And then I don't know. Oh God, I'm too much of a cringe to do this. Okay, three words. I would say like cheeky, yeah, romantic, um, sexy. Good. Good. I feel like those words translate over to after we collided as well. I was gonna it say, was, yeah. Will you describe we collided in three words? I would say intense, um, sexy, and probably I'm gonna steal cheeky from you. That's um, a good one. Yeah, I mean, even reading the lyrics, like typically when you get just for the process, like to bore people for a second, is when you get a song and they're like, oh, this is going to work for your movie or your soundtrack or this. And you're like, okay, um, probably not. And then I yeah. heard the lyrics and I was like, wait a second. Um, it feels like she wrote it for the movie, which isn't necessarily the case, but it's so hand in hand with what we're talking about and the messiness of relationships. I think we're in this time where everyone is so hyper-focused on everything everyone's doing, but relationships mm -hmm. are messy and complicated and the song and the movie both talk about the messy parts. If you want to talk for a sec about just like kind of peeling off the layers of the everybody's happy and everybody's in love and really talking about the messiness of relationships. Yeah. Um, it's a hard one because you know, relationships are so interpersonal, obviously, um, and so varied and, and different from, you know, one person in a relationship, the next time they're in a relationship, it's entirely different, even if it's that same one person. So I feel like, you know, so much of it is chemistry, chemical, um, and then like your own individual, that, that individual, I, I have such a hard time speaking about um, sort of like more intense relationships, which is kind of the only relationships I've ever experienced. Um, yeah. Because it's just really hard. It's like, unless you're in that relationship, you can't always relate or understand fully. Um, but I think that a lot of relationships, especially when people are young, um, and especially yeah. when you have sensitive people, and when you have artists. Um, but again, especially when you're young, like, I don't know almost anybody who uh, peer wise and friend wise who hasn't been in like a really intense hot and cold, highly romantic, push and pull kind of relationship. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I think by nature, they're really messy. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. I pretty much only write about really messy relationships with which obviously opens up a lot of criticism. But you know, if people were writing and making music and making movies about just two perfect people not making any mistakes, we wouldn't really have any art. So I like um, reading about and watching more messy kind of relationships. And they, you know, they're people when you're young, it's so, I've literally been married like half of my life. So sometimes I forget how like that young love and like crazy, like every little thing you hang on every word and every fight is this big thing. And I think people forget that. Um, and so songs like We Belong and movies like After We Collided and just tons of other normal people, like all of these great things show the realness. I don't know if we're allowed to say, but I'll just say it anyway. You have another song in the movie. So it's not only um, the trailer, it's the infamous shower scene that everyone is really excited for. You have another song um, there, which I don't think I can say which one it is, but I'm sure people can maybe guess and figure it out. But um, yeah. so it's kind of a natural fit for your music to be involved in the trailer. And uh, sorry, there's a guy in my yard, but it was like delivery. I was scared for a second. Um, <laughs> oh, God, tend to like, that. What's happening? Um, <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, who's, whose team are you on? Are you on, are you on team Trevor or team Harden? Or uh, I'm on team Tessa. Oh, I'm more of a team Tessa right now. I'm definitely more team Tessa, especially where the story is. Um, yeah. I'm definitely more of a team Tessa. I love Harden. I love Trevor, but Tessa's got to figure it out <laughs> on her yeah. own really before she can uh really be with anyone all of them that's the kind of beauty of this messy um relationship is that it's up and down and all over the place and it's that idea that you can't change someone by loving them they have to really change overall and in the second installment 
the characters aren't quite there yet. So for now, I'm Team Tessa until everybody gets their shit together. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what a beautiful thing. And also, like, God, is there nothing more true than that? Like, you can't love someone for the potential. You got, they got to meet you yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> it never works. Like, we can write all the books and all the things we want and all the songs with happy endings. But in reality, people have to want to be better. Or you can't love them through it. Like, I love that message, even though it's sad, it's not romantic, but it's just real life of people are messy. And, you know, you don't always have to love someone at their worst to love them. It's like, sometimes you will be brought down to your worst for them. And then after Tessa loses herself a lot in Harden, and she is aware of it, but she just can't stop it. Like, it's literally like she just cannot help herself. And he can't help himself. And it's just so much intensity without spoiling anything um so i'm glad I think we've all been there relationship wise yes yes i mean i even though i've been married a long time we've had like it feels like we've been with multiple versions of each other well, you so we've, like you've been together yeah, for ages we've, yeah we've evolved so much that it's like every few years we're like different versions of ourselves, and there's kinks you have to work out it's not quite as messy as what i'm writing necessarily but <laughs> um it's it's, you know, we belong together as Cordy yeah. as I'll be. Uh, oh, thank you so, so much for talking to yeah, me. Yeah, thank um, you so much. And for your support. And we cannot wait to see. I know the fans are going to die over the shower scene with your song in it and the trailer um, with your music. So thank you again. Thanks for being thank cool. You. And, yeah, um, thanks so much for seeing me. You're so cool. Yeah, thank you. I'll talk Have to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye, yeah, guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. bye.